everybody and welcome to the next flame quick tip now this one's going to be on a feature that was introduced in 2017 um, extension one service pack one I believe it was when they had the new selection and frame features now we have those in action if we press or sorry in batch if we press F it'll frame up your node and then spacebar F will frame up everything this is using smoke um, uh, hotkeys just so you're aware um, I'm sure most of you guys are aware of the frame options but the, the cool thing, um, and what I'm kind of doing this one on, if I do grab a just a color source, I'm going to create some bars, and I'm going to do 1024, 1024, and it's going to set this to width height, so it's a little square, and it's going to add one input. And the, the, um, the, the thing we're going to be looking at for this is um, object framing, but um, in an animation standpoint. So... Uh, by default, when you um, frame up an object in action, it's going to go to the working camera, which is um, spacebar f spacebar four. No, sorry, spacebar f four. Yeah, which is a working camera where you can um, orbit around and it won't animate, and then you can go back to your camera, which is great. Um, so let's have a look at how that works. So I'm going to duplicate this, and I'm going to go two up, and then uh, the, this view I'm going to do shift four, and I'm going to select that guy, and then let's just pull that back over there somewhere there and I'm going to duplicate him again and let's pull him over here and I'm going to duplicate him again and I'm going to pull him over there so now we got these four guys and if we look at the results we've got these four guys living in um, in Z space and say we wanted to do an animation through this um, through this world again this is a very simple example but hopefully it gets the point across um, you know there are ways you could do it you could always add an axis to the camera you know set your key and then jump forward pull this guy over pull it into somewhere kind of where it feels right and you got your you know you could do that it's it's a little bit kind of cumbersome it has its place there's nothing wrong with doing it that way but it's just worth noting that there's ways in in um, software now that can really speed that up so um, with this camera um, the first thing to do because again right now if I do select that guy way in the background and I do press the frame option you see now we're in working camera and that's great um, in some circumstances but again um, we want to animate so by default working cameras on if I toggle that off um, now it's going to be off so I'm going to jump you know 12 frames in go to animation select the default cam and I'm just going to select him and just press set key and now so we'll have a rest for the first 12 frames I'm going to go a little bit further on select that and then press F and you see now if we go to our camera we got keyframes between those guys, which is exactly what we want. So I'm going to quickly jump a little bit further along, set key, and then just a little bit further along, and then press F. And now that's animated from him to him to that one. And then again, I'm just going to do it for the last one. Just going to set another key for the camera. And then somewhere here, I'm just going to press F. And if I go Alt 1, press F4 and then we just press play you see we got some animation going on and again it's, it's very crude but I hope you're getting the point now for this let's say we'd like to have all the, these look at the camera so that way they are always there so now if we press play they're always looking at camera again uh, the cool thing with this too is if it are if it is already animated like that is you can always um, if I chuck in some axes before these sorry it's going to chuck a couple of these in is once you've already animated um, I turn that back on so you don't accidentally animate again but once that is animated because um, you are animating based off the um, the frame up remember after that you can always just kind of scale down and again we can just jump to the next next keyframe of each one and then and then kind of get it to where you feel like these guys or whatever you're trying to animate to um, fits in and makes sense so again that guy could be a little bit smaller now again, the the other you know elephant in the room is there is, you know, how would you add a little bit of extra, um, you know, dynamic motion on top of that? So again, um, let's quickly pull out an axis, and I'm just going to go to the position, and I'm going to go to uh, expression, and this is one that um, I've already written in from before, and this is just um, really simple function which is random, frame, space, times, and then three. If I press enter you see and I press shift tab you can see the expression that it's giving us and if um, I press play you see that's not really <laughs> what we want that's a bit uh, extreme um, 
yeah, it's really not doing amazing things. So I'm going to put that back to that, and then I'm going to go to that expression. I'm going to shift tab. I'm sorry, that's my bad. I um, if I undo, 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 undo. Okay, uh, I actually that was my bad, and I know why, and that was because I did the camera position, which was not what I wanted to do. So we're back. That's worth noting. Always, always be sure of what you're selecting. So again, so I'm selecting my axis, shift tab, and then going to position, go into expression. I'm going to press up and then down just to bring that up. And now we have the position just on the axis. So you see now if we press play, we got a little bit of what looks like silly motion right now. But again, remember we can always kind of finesse this and get what we want. So I'm just going to go to bake in our curves and just do that. And then I'm going to go to simplify and do that. And then I'm going to go to average and I'll do that. And now if we go closer and press play, so that's probably too much simplified. So now if we do go to our scale, which lives up here, so I'm going to go Y scale and it's going to pull that up, something like that. Now if we press play, so we got a little bit of, um, again, a quick and easy kind of way to add some stuff in, create animation, frame stuff up. Um, again, your, your, your results may vary. And again, it's all very dependent on your job. This is a lot more suited to traveling cameras through things or motion graphics type setups. But yeah, um, I just thought it was worth noting that the, um, the working cam for object framing is a great feature that's often overlooked. So that's going to be it for this one, guys. Hope it was useful. Stay tuned for more.